Hello everyone, today we're going to be ranking all the Star Wars movies from worst to best. I know I did this video before, but I wanted to make an updated one for you guys so you can see what changed and what hasn't changed. Today we're going to be covering all Star Wars movies besides the Clone Wars movie. I know my opinion might be a lot different from your guys', so let's keep the comments neutral and even also post a comment of your guys' ranking for the Star Wars movies. Also keep in mind that there's going to be spoilers in this, so if you haven't seen the movies already, so keep that in mind. So without further ado... Let's begin. Coming in at number 11, we have The Last Jedi. This movie for me was really, really bad. I think it just leaves a lot of plot holes throughout the entire movie. I know this film is probably the most controversial film. Luke Skywalker in this film was just not my Luke Skywalker I wanted to see after Return of the Jedi. And some of the things he did throughout the film, I wouldn't think he would have done in those actual scenarios. I think the space chase in Cantobite was just a drag for far too long. I think that Luke deserved a better death than what we got, but let's move on to number 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Han Solo, A Star Wars Story. For me, this movie was not as initially as I thought we would see in the movie. The acting was good, but I thought we would get to see him learning how to fly, learning how to shoot a blaster, but in this movie, he already has those skill sets. I think the droid was a wannabe K2SO, and there are just so many overall boring parts throughout the entire movie. The castle run was okay. It's not what I thought um, it would be, but it was really watchable. It was probably the best part of the movie. How he met Chewbacca was a little weird. I don't know. I just think they could have developed a better story overall for Han Solo. Coming in at number 9, we have The Force Awakens. Force Awakens for me was actually pretty good overall, but as I watched it over and over again, it just seems that Rey is kind of overpowered. I get she's a Palpatine and all, but I think that she shouldn't have gone from not knowing the Force to using a mind trick out of nowhere. And also, I don't like how she beat a fully trained Jedi Ben Solo slash Kylo Ren. This movie overall was really good, but I think other Star Wars movies do beat The Force Awakens. Coming in at number 8, we have The Rise of Skywalker. This movie I think was probably the best of the sequels for sure. This movie can completely got rid of The Last Jedi, and we got to see Luke how he could have been portrayed as a Force ghost. I think bringing back Palpatine was okay. I think it kind of ruined Anakin's arc uh, a little bit overall. I think that was the best choice they could have done because of Snoke dying in The Last Jedi. The fight scenes were okay. Palpatine coming back was kind of vaguely explained during the movie, but overall is good for sure and the best of the sequels. Coming in at number 7, we have Attack of the Clones. Don't get me wrong, I really love this movie, but the love scene scenes are just really bad. They got turned into memes and all the other sorts. But one of my favorite scenes in this movie where Anakin and Shmi, his mother, is in his arms and she passes away. I think this scene was perfectly acted. I think it was perfect for Anakin's turning to the dark side. The best part about the movie was we got to see Yoda fight for the first time. I think they did this scene very well and I couldn't ask for anything better. But other than that, I think the rest of the movie is kind of hard um, to watch or even a little boring to sit through. But that being said, let's move on to the next one. Coming in at number 6, we have The Phantom Menace. The Phantom Menace was really good for me. Some scenes were pretty bad visually, but overall, it was a really good movie. I really love Qui-Gon Jinn. I think he was a great character, and I love that we see Obi-Wan Kenobi as a Padawan. People don't really like Anakin as a little boy, and I really don't mind him. Jake Lloyd was, throughout the movie, he was pretty good. I think the best parts were the pod race and the duel of the fates. I think the lightsaber fight between Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Darth Maul is probably the best lightsaber fights in the entire saga. Coming in at number 5, we have A New Hope. A New Hope was just a classic. A New Hope started all of Star Wars. It was visually amazing for its time of release. I know this movie isn't action-packed like all the other ones, but I really love the story it tells, especially with Luke Skywalker, Ben Kenobi, Han Solo, and Leia Organa. They are all really iconic. Obi-Wan vs. Darth Vader isn't visually amazing, but the motion behind it is why I love it. Moving on to number 4, we have Rogue One. Rogue One for me was a movie you have to watch a couple times to really enjoy it. I really love the characters, and I really love the action in the movie. Darth Vader Rogue One scene is one of the best scenes in Star Wars. I think every character was perfectly well written, and their story arcs were amazing. The reason why I didn't rank higher than top 3 is because I really just love the top 3 a little more than Rogue One. With that being said, coming in at number 3 for my favorite Star Wars movie is Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi was amazing. People didn't like Jabba the Hutt or the Ewoks, but I really didn't mind for them. I think they bring great scenes to the movie and I couldn't ask for anything better. Everything with Vader, Luke, and Palpatine was just amazing. One of my all-time favorite scenes in this is in this movie. When Luke looks, takes a right, and sees his father, 
Yoda, and Obi-Wan. It will always be my favorite scene, and I think it's going to stay that way for a while. I was debating putting this movie at, at number one, but two other movies just top it. Coming in at number two is The Empire Strikes Back. Now this movie I have zero issues with, nothing really comes to mind, I hated or I thought was boring. The movie is one of the best movies ever made in cinema history in my personal opinion. This movie brings jaw dropping reveal of Luke being Darth Vader's father and I wish I was in the theater to hear the crowd's reaction to that scene. But coming in at number one we have Revenge of the Sith. Revenge of the Sith is absolutely amazing. Obi-Wan vs Vader slash Anakin was amazing. Yoda vs Palpatine was amazing. Every scene was amazing and again I can't think of one thing that made me not like this movie. Hayden Christensen was also seemed as a bad actor by some people. But people don't realize he was speaking kind of non-tonish because he wanted to sound like Darth Vader. So people can actually think it's actually Anakin turning into Darth Vader. With that being said, this is going to conclude today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and leave a comment down below of what you would rank these movies at. Anyways, may the force be with you and I'll see you in the next one.